What's up guys and happy Wednesday. We are halfway through this work week. So excited for the weekend, especially with all these campgrounds opening up. The weather is just gorgeous. We are out here on the lot and we are standing in front of the Carbon 36. So this is a travel trailer toy hauler. If you, you know, love to carry kayaks and go-karts and golf carts with you but you don't want to have to have a fifth wheel toy hauler this is the one for you and it actually weighs a little bit over 10,000 pounds so on our non-camping side you do have your generator plus you have one slide out at the very front you have your diamond plating to help protect um, your front cap from rocks and stuff jumping up there and scratching it you have a power tongue jack and you also have your propane under this plastic casing. This does have the industry's best three-year limited structural warranty. There's also an outlet right here. You can kind of use it for whatever. Maybe if you wanted to set a table out here, plug a TV in, you can do that. There's also a little bit of extra storage here at the front. And then to the left of that is just access to your water heater. This does have front and rear stabilizer jacks as well. There is also a power awning that stretches over your slide um, pretty much most of the way across your camper. So you have that additional shade if you need it. And then of course you have this big helper handle next to your main entrance, outdoor speakers. And then here is your second entrance to your camper. Then I'll show you what the back garage door looks like. And this also will fold out into a patio. So um, folding it out, it can either create a ramp or it can extend out and, you know, make a nice patio area. There is steps too that you can attach. So let's go ahead and look at the inside. We're gonna start with the very front of the camper. So coming in here, we have our queen size mattress with storage underneath. You do have end tables on both sides um, and each one has its own little dresser or not dresser drawer. So you can hide snacks and put your electronics in there. I just want to point out too, there are really tall ceilings in here. So you won't feel super cramped storage up above. And you also have his and hers closets on both sides. And like I said, really tall. So you can fit a lot of clothes in there. And then across, you have an entrance from your master into the bathroom with a gorgeous barn style sliding door. There is also a spot for a TV in here. So if you did want to mount a TV, you're able to do that. And there is also an AC so you can stay cool on those hot summer days. Coming into our bathroom from our master entrance, you have a shower tub combo to the right. Really pretty matte black finish for the faucet. And those tall ceilings just continue here in the bathroom. So your skylight is right there as well as your vent fan. But I just love those tall ceilings. Then of course you have your sink with this really pretty textured um, kind of edging on the countertop. Storage down below. And then of course, if I can open it, there you go. You have your medicine cabinet. Hooks all across for your towels outlet if you need it and you have a porcelain foot flush toilet so it's very sturdy we're going to come back out here into our eating and entertainment space to the left is the living room couch and these do recline all of them so they're super cozy and relaxing the outer uh, seats actually have led lights heating elements and massage so the bigger one is in the middle but the outer two have those really cool elements and then coming into our kitchen area, you have this gorgeous white countertop. I love the little speckled details in there. Stainless steel open mount sink and with, again with that black finish. Storage cabinets up above and you also have some outlets. So if you did want to plug in your coffee maker or your air fryer, you can do that. And then you also have some storage down below. Here is your refrigerator right across from your sink. And then I'll show you the freezer. Extra storage space up there. Maybe put some wine bottles or some plants or anything. To the left is your microwave. 
And then just down below, you got your three burner top stove with a glass range cover. And then of course your oven, pots and pans, storage underneath. And then I believe, oh, I thought that was a spice rack, but you can put some cleaning supplies in there or whatever. And you also have even more pantry storage. For your entertainment center right next to your living room seating, you got some extra space down there. Your Bluetooth speaker system is up above, so that's where you can access your outdoor and indoor speakers. And then of course your TV and even more space up there. Coming into our garage, this is a 12 foot six inch garage. So you can fit a lot of stuff in here. Uh, motorcycles, golf carts, ATV, kayaks, just a bunch of things. Plus you also have this door that is tented. So you can kind of block off the living part of the camper versus the garage. There is even a half bath back here. Porcelain, toilet, you got your sink, outlet if you need it. And there is a spot for a key TV back here. Now what's really cool about key TV, um, most campers a long time ago, you could only watch one channel, even there, if there was a lot of TVs. With the key TV system, you're able to have a bunch of different people watch multiple channels at the same time, have the kids network on one TV, have a cooking show on another. You can have that access, which is really cool. Storage on either side. And that is where your second entrance is to the garage. So if you don't want to have to haul a bunch of stuff and you just want to use this for extra sleeping space, these leather sofas slash dining room area slash uh, couches, they actually fold out into a sleeping space for extra guests or your kids. And there is also this queen size mattress that kind of rolls down with a um, remote control. So that's pretty awesome as well. There are those steps I was telling you about for your patio area. And it also comes with this netted fencing. So if you do have little kids or dogs, you don't have to worry about them um, falling off the edge of it. Plus it's on wheels so you can move it pretty easily. So that is it for this carbon, you guys. If you have any questions or concerns, please let us know and we are more than happy to help.